David. Well, I'll admit, I've dabbled in the dark arts of late night gaming and maybe sneaked in a few rounds when my wife isn't watching, sorry honey, but some kids take it to a whole nother level. The glow of the screen, the click of the buttons. These gamers have a title online to protect. That means something. Scott, what's your gamer tag? CLD said 12. How long have you been playing video games? All my life. But as of late, Fortnite is life. Fort life. Fortnite Battle Royale. It's a free game you can download on your phone, console, or computer. Everybody loves it. It's just a fun and free game to play. More than 40 million people are playing the game every month. It's breaking records. We have over 15,000 retro video games and collectibles. Every kid comes in is looking for something similar to it. It's a player versus player shooter with cartoonish characters and graphics. I've been selling a lot of headsets recently because of Fortnite. I'm 13, I probably play 14, 15 hours a day. The premise, you jump out of a flying bus alone or with a team. You land on an island with a hundred other players, scrounge for weapons to fight and materials to, you guessed it, build forts. And while the map shrinks in a circle pushing everyone closer together, it's a fight to be the last one standing. Let's go guys, let's win this. There's no age discrimination when online. I'm seven and I've been playing since April. And ever since school let out, it's put some parents in a predicament. I play, I play more now than I than when I was in school because when I got home, I played. Don't much know much about it, but it seems to keep keep them entertained. And a lot of parents are on the same page. Basically, my whole entire summer is just Fortnite and games. Child psychiatrist Dr. Paul Weigel is no stranger to the game. Kids are spending so much time playing video games and other screen entertainment these days. Over the course of a year, it's about twice as much time as they're spending in school. And doubling up on playing time isn't going to help the grades, but... In moderation, video games can be a perfectly healthy um, habit. There's benefits to hand-eye coordination, multitasking, and it's a way for kids to connect with other kids. But there's also ratings on these games. Fortnite is suggested for 13 and up. However, um, there's a large number of kids who play excessively, more than a couple hours a day. And for these kids, unfortunately, the gaming oftentimes isn't unhealthy in itself, but it gets in the way of very important healthy activities that all kids need to engage in. That includes socializing face-to-face -face in real life, getting the sleep and exercise they need, and practicing their academics and reading. So how do you get your kid off the Fortnite bus and onto the school bus? Most kids need limits, which is um, uh, parents saying that, uh, you know, that, that the no video games after a certain time at night or no video games during these times of day. Some kids need that. Some kids need the plug to be uh, pulled. Dr. Weigel said parents should start making changes to their kids' screen time about three weeks before school so they get into the routine in time. With the goal that the week before school, kids are already waking up at the time they will need to for school, um, already going to bed at the same time, and already spending about as much time playing games as really they should during the school year. Parents of players we spoke with are already on it. Once our August starts before school, though, the bedtime routine will start to uh, go back to the way it was. How are you going to deal with going back to school? I don't know. Well, I'm going to have to do my homework. I'm going to have to do everything else. But once I'm done with that, straight to Fortnite. Fort well, Dr. Weigel suggested that organized events such as camp a couple weeks before school can also help get kids back into the structure of school. But sometimes the answer is just pulling the plug. David McKay, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hmm.